Using the Puppet Warp tool in Adobe Illustrator is a great way to add some motion and some excitement to your artwork. And the good news is, using it is really simple. I mean, there is really no learning curve here. It's that easy to use. But, but, before you start using it, you must select your artwork first. I mean, if I just go straight and start using the Puppet Warp tool from the left right here, and then try to see if I can add some motion, some flexibility into this robot, I would realize that nothing happens. I mean, if you try to do this, all you will see is the cursor with a cross circle next to it. And this is happening not because the Puppet Warp tool is not working or there's a glitch with it, it's because you did not select anything. So keep that in mind. In my case here, I want to make uh, the arm move. And I want this robot to flex his metallic muscles. So I'm going to add some pins. But first, I must select the arm. And to do that, I'm going to use the selection tools. And in my case, I'm going to use the direct selection tool to be more specific. So there you go. I selected the arm. And now what I'm going to do, I'm going to choose the puppet warp tool and there it is on the left side and now I can add pins or little references of movement so to speak little movement reference points now I'm gonna add one here one there it's always good to add something in the joint for more effective movement and there and finally one here also all right and so now to make uh, to make this move, all you have to do is click and hold on one of the pins, and then there you go. And he's flexing his muscles of steel. <laughs> there you go. So as you can see, with just a few clicks, you can really add some dynamic effects into your artwork. Now, let's suppose that you want to delete one of those pins. Well, all you have to do is uh, click on one of the pins, and once you once you click on them, you realize you will see this uh, circle, uh, this field circle with this outline around it. So click on one of the pins and hit the delete key. This is how you delete the pins. So delete and delete. All right. I'm going to leave this one pin because I want to show you something. Adobe recommends at least uh, putting at about putting about three pins to an object because it it allows you to move the object much more effectively. Because if you just have one pin, one reference of movement, well, if you click, hold, and drag, you will realize that the whole thing moves and you don't want that. I mean, that looks totally awkward. Uh, so keep that in mind. Uh, for best effects, add around three or more pins for best results. All right, key. And that's it. This is really how you use the Puppet Warp tool. All you have to do uh, to repeat, select your artwork using the selection tools right here. And then after selecting your artwork, you go to the puppet warp tool and then you start adding pins there you go and then you click hold on one of the pins and drag and there you go there you go that simple that simple to use the puppet warp tool and you can use to do this for any part of your artwork for in my case here for the belly button is that a belly button <laughs> i don't know I, de I designed it i don't even know what it is um so there you go you have all the freedom you you have all the freedom to do all the things you need all the things you would like to do uh with the puppet warp tool so get creative for more videos like this please subscribe and thanks for watching